If you caught the video in the last lesson on uh, radical equations, one of the things I pointed out is that it's very important when you're solving an equation that has square roots in it in particular to uh, check your answers and make sure that they are not extraneous because um, it's very common to come up with extraneous solutions when you're solving square root uh, equations. We're going to do an example here. Obviously, I wouldn't have brought that up if it wasn't going to have an extraneous solution in it, so uh, you can expect that to happen here. But I want you to kind of take a look at what happens as we go through this step by step. So first thing we need to do is to isolate one of our square roots here. The original equation is square root of x minus 9 minus square root of x equals 3. So we're going to isolate that square root of x minus 9. And to do that, we'll add root of x to both sides. So we'll cancel over here and we'll have root x minus 9 is equal to 3 plus root x then we'll square both sides and that'll cancel out the square root symbol over here and we'll have to foil this other side but over here we'll have x minus 9 and that'll be equal to remember that if you have a binomial squared you have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared so we'll have 3 squared, that's 9, plus 2 times a times b plus b squared. And then we'll just combine like terms. We have x minus 9. I'll go ahead and move the 9 over. Add 9 to both sides. So we'll have x equals 18 plus 2 times 3 is 6 square roots of x plus x. Then we'll subtract x from both sides, and we'll get 0 equals 18 plus 6 roots of x. Move the 18 to the other side, so we'll have negative 18 equals 6 roots of x. Divide both sides by 6. That'll cancel. 18, negative 18 divided by 6 is negative 3. Negative 3 equals the square root of x. And then we'll square both sides, and we'll get negative 3 squared is 9, 9 equals x. So we come up with x is equal to 9, and then we'll take that value and put it back into our original equation here. And we get the square root of 9 minus 9 minus the square root of 9 equals 3. Uh, 9 minus 9 is 0. Square root of 0 is 0, so we get 0 minus the square root of 9, which is 3, equals 3. So we end up with negative 3 equals 3, and that's obviously not true. So this answer, although we went through all the proper steps and went through, you know, did everything correctly, went from a mathematical standpoint, this answer does not work. So it's an extraneous solution. E-X-T-R-A-N-E-O-U-S extraneous solution and that tells us since it was the only solution we had that there is no solution to this original expression there is no number you can put in for x that will make both sides equal